All right, and the last video I'm going to cover is API scripts, which if you are paying the $10 premium for Roll20 per month, then you are able to use these. So let's start with the basics. First, you go to settings and API scripts, and then you're going to load in the scripts that matter. So in this case, uh, I've already got them loaded here, so I'm just going to scroll over to our one shot game that we've been doing all of our tutorials on thus far and show you what these scripts look like uh, from scratch. So the first one we want is the welcome package. This allows characters or players to quickly make characters without you being in the game. Uh, we will go in and set all these up after. I'm just showing you which ones to uh, import first. 5th edition OGL, so 5th edition OGL, this is for uh, ammo tracking as we went through in a previous video, and then we have mod, uh, token mod, which is one of the best scripts you can have. And group check. So first concentration. And group check. And group int. And you can always use the tutorials on each of these if you need help setting up something more advanced. But this is how I just basically do my brand new games so as you can see you've got a few um, tutorial bits here and then we've got Eldritch Blast which is a custom script um, let's see turn marker so there is a turn marker one but I never got that one to work so what I do is I do a new script and I do turn marker, which is going to be this script, which can be found here, I believe. So I'm going to copy this into a document. Turn marker. That way I can put it into the description for you. Uh, same with Eldritch Blast should be easy to find as well. Okay, Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. And let's see. We have our Eldritch Blast. We're just going to paste it in and type in Eldritch Blast save script and then we've got turn marker control all new script paste turn marker save and then apply damage which is an important one uh, this one doesn't have a link, so I'm going to have to put this in the description, most likely. Uh, but apply damage is probably the most useful macro, um, or API. So apply damage. Save. And then we've got Aura, Tint, and Colors, which is in here. Aura. And then that should line up right directly with mine. See? So we have all of these in here. Perfect. So then we just go back to the ND one shots and let's configure these. So how to configure? R is pretty simple. You just come in here. You click apply config in group initiative, apply config in group initiative, apply config or config, config 
and then just do the roll 20 configs for all of these, right? And then now those will all be configured. Do the hashtag Aura, and then we want them on bar one, use tint, yes, one-offs, yes. So now you see that our unit is green. If you do uh, use tint, now the green is behind, or if you take off tint, the green will be behind the assassin. Now let's say it takes damage, 55, it will change colors automatically. Now let's say it gets down below X amount, bam, now it's red. This is so you don't have to really worry about telling your players if they're bloodied or not. Um, the API will essentially show that for them. That is the Aura Health uh, Token Mod. Now, our next one is Group Initiative. So, this is our command, right? And what we want to do with that is create a Ma macro called initiative and then we just leave it just like this that way we don't have to remember that command all the time you can do it however you want but what i do is i make this purple create a character i usually don't put in bar um, but i make sure that all players can see that macro that way when they hit create a character and they put toby now we've got Toby here, and they can. Eat. All you have to do as a DM is let it, them edit the sheet directly and enable the stuff. So automatic crit, and ask if they have advantage on initiative, and then you're done. Never whisper rolls, always roll advantage. Put these in here, bam. And now they have exactly what they need, as you see the bless commands. The attacks, uh, everything, they just have to put in their health and their AC, and their token here. Uh, if you want to make it uh, showable to all players, right here, they can put in their own token, they can put in their own name, etc. Um, yeah, so that is the easy way to for them to make a character without you being in the game. Um, or if they need, say, spirit weapon or pet or whatever, they just hit the create a character and they can easily make that for themselves and just drag it onto the board themselves. So we have our initiative and then we have our create a character. Now let's go back over here. Let's see what else we have to set up. So we've got apply damage and apply DPS. So apply DPS is my main form of group check. So we have to set up group check for this to work, but I will put this in the footer as well, this macro, or in the description. And then the other one I use a lot is the bless one. So you just grab all of this and put it in here. I will put it in the description. Bless. And then the last one that I use a lot is remove. So what I'll go through these here in a second. Let's get those in the bar. And I don't think we have druids. There is some wild shape ones you can find online. Uh, you have to kind of customize them yourself, so I'm not going to go over them in this video. Um, but they do exist. And that is all of our APIs. So let's go over what they do and let's get them set up real quick and uh, show you how to do that. So the first thing is we want to um, open roll 20. You always want to have this screen open in case the API shuts down or whatever while you're in game. You can just hit restart API. So group initiative is group init. So let's go into our game and let's say we want to put these two apes into initiative. That's why we created this button. 
Now it instantly puts the two uh, apes in initiative and creates a purple uh, marker telling your players that it's their turn. And it'll automatically go to the next player when they hit EOT and it'll automatically update the round. So if you're like me and you like to uh, remove all of them at the end of the round and reroll initiative, you can simply do that for them as long as their initiative is up to, date, up to date on their character sheet, then it will roll. If they did not import their initiative, it will not work and uh, you can roll for everybody but that person, which is kind of a pain. But we all have players that are stubborn or whatever that just don't want to work with you. So um, here you can go, say I wanted to pass the player back, like they got skipped, I can just hit POT and that'll put it right back to the player. Let's say we're three rounds in and I want to restart combat because this isn't the old one. Reset to round zero and now we're back on round zero with EOT, EOT. And it, the screen will move with them uh, as the token marker moves with them. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so now if you just take damage, right? It's going to update both tokens, and that's not what we want. What we want is this gorilla to take damage. So we have the I let's say they need to make a save, then you can easily do apply DPS strength BC 18 damage 21. They take half on a save. Uh, I have to import um, the command so you can see that this is not working. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to um, the group check and find a configuration. So group check config show. And then we want to find the import, which is going to be right here. Import 5e, uh, 5e OGL, because that's what we use. So import 5e OGL. That creates the group check. Now we can say they need to make a deck save of DC 17. Fireball damage is 36, half on a save. Now you see we have two people just failed. We apply damage and it automatically applies it to the tokens as they pass. So let's say this one got attacked, but we don't want to use, uh, we don't want both of them to take the damage. We're gonna put dex 50, just to make it impossible. Uh, put damage 30, let's say they took 31. Um, half on save, apply damage. Now you see only one giant ape takes the damage, the other does not. They also did take 31 damage. 20, 31. Okay. They also didn't take 31, they took 30 damage. Um, so you do have to make sure that you're always putting it to where they're taking max damage. So, um, 157. Again, to recap, apply DPS, wisdom 50 or 40, whatever, or sorry. Apply DPS, constitution save, DC 17, damage is 40, half on a save. Uh, so neither one saved, so they both take full damage. And that's basically it. Oh, the one saved, that's why it took less damage. So I can hit apply damage again if I made a mistake. So as you see, one takes the full 40 damage and the other does not. So that is how these APIs work. Uh, it's just about, so now let's do the next API, which is bless. Let's say I'm Alexander the Great here and I hit the bless command, I can bless myself and two targets, and ta-da, 
Now, it'll automatically create these little wings on the characters for you and create a concentration. So if Alexander takes one damage, our concentration save will automatically be rolled um, via the concentration app, which is great for us because that's less work. Um, and then I will remove to remove all of it if he failed. So it's a pretty good uh, system. There are other APIs you can get more in depth, but this is my basic uh, API setup. I believe I went over all of them. Uh, again, I, I make a bly color red, I make bless yellow, and I make remove white. That way I can pretty much always have apply DPS in red right in my vision. And I can have initiative here and these are the only two that I really need. So, so the only things that you really need to set up are the config, which you can find right here under configuration for group check. And then you need to set up the, um, the Aura, which is Aura in tank colors, patch exclamation aura the rest is done via macros once you're actually in game and you can create your create your buttons just by hitting in bar so uh, and you can rearrange them just by grabbing and pulling all right um, if there's any other questions just refer to the the api's uh, as these were not created by me and you can find all the in-depth stuff some things you might want to do um like least rolled sets the initiative to the lowest of all the initiatives grouped so if you want to make it so that they all roll the same then you can enter that command and there's a lot of cool features i just keep it simple uh but yeah if you had like I said if you have any questions or want to cu uh, customize things beyond what i do then uh, you could just go through the group initiative and the uh the our intent and the um, ogl companion and it has everything here like if you want to track ammo and stuff all right well that is the end of this series. I hope you feel like you can run a efficient game now, and I look forward to talking with you guys in the future. Have a great day.